Hey guys, uh, welcome back to technicalskills.org. This is Raghu Kiran Reddy here. Um, today we are going to learn uh, how to create flat file from from a database using Informatica. A flat file is uh, nothing but a .txt file or with an extension of .dat file. So any of these can be called a flat file. And an important thing is that uh, uh, a flat file which would be generated that would be stored on the Informatica server but not on your local server. In so this is a point to be remembered. Okay, so uh, now let's take a look at an example. Uh, example of a table. Uh, for that we would uh, have the table on the Oracle database so we would access it using Toad. So I'm going to click Toad and uh, so here we are going to take a look at the table uh, that would be used to generate the flat file. So we are going to create the flat file for this particular table. So here I connect to the uh, database. So let's uh, write a query. Now I'm going to select uh, all from I'm going to use the departments table and uh, I'm going to run this query so this is a table with four columns uh, as you see uh, we have multiple rows in this columns so so this will be our source to create the flat file so the flat file is going to be the output of our task right now and this is the data that would be uh, used for creating the flat file okay to uh, as we saw the table there in the oracle database now i'm going to open the informatica power center uh, so we're going to open power center designer and So now I'm going to uh, connect to the repository and uh, you can right click on that and click connect. Then you would have to give your username credentials. My username here is techguru and my password is 8 stars. And now you connect. So by right clicking on the technical skills you'll have to open it. and then uh, like we saw in the earlier classes this is source analyzer this is target designer this is transformation developer this is the maplet designer and this is the mapping designer so now we're going to import the database for that we'll have to create a connection string like we've seen earlier so these are the connections that we have already created so if you have this connection already created you can use the same connection or you'll have to create it just like it looks um, and then you would have to give your username and password and then click connect after you connect you see the tables uh, for the HR there and select your table so uh, now we as we've seen earlier we thought of uh, importing the departments or using the departments table so I'm going to select the departments table here and uh, click OK so here is the table design created for the ta for the departments table so this is the table that we have imported um, and now we are going to create the target flat file so by clicking the target designer then we go to the targets and uh, click create here you would uh, select the database type which would be a flat file because we are generating a flat file select flat file enter a new name for this and you can have it as department underscore file create hmm. so we double click on the departments uh, the flat file design that we created and uh, we're going to create the columns so by clicking add a new column we would add every column first we would add the department ID 
then have the data type then create another column and then we would have the name for it department name and that's a string with a precision of 50 then create another column and this would be the manager ID so be a number because it's an ID and then the precision would be 5 you can select anything that you would want and then the location ID this would again be a number then have a precision of 5 for this too and uh, click apply and then we're going to go to the properties tab to select the date time format so now we're going to move to the tables tab which is uh, important because here you select the flat file information so there are two types that you can select one is the delimited and the other is fixed width when I say delimited it means that you can select um, pick or choose uh, the delimiter the column separator it can either be a comma um, so this would be the comma separator sorry the column separator and uh, fixed width here is uh, you would select your own fixed width of spaces between each of the columns so this would uh, be the fixed width and then we would uh, use delimited here for now and then click advanced and here you can select your column delimiter uh, so as you can see the default column delimiter would be a comma but uh, the using a comma would not be suggestible because uh, usually if you see in company names or anything you would have an inc dot comma or something like that which would already exist in your data set so if you do not have a comma in the data set then you can use a comma otherwise it would be preferred to use a tilde because this would be a rarely used uh, uh, at least an uncommon delimiter so you can use a tilde and if there is a comma with within a column value like if it is an address and you have a comma within the column value then you would you can sub, you can uh, distinguish by using a single quote or a double quote and uh, we click OK and uh, I'm going to apply the changes and click OK again uh, because we are generating a, a, a target flat file here we wouldn't be using the option generate or execute SQL so now we are going to create the mapping uh, and this is the mapping designer this is here is the table that we just we imported a while ago and uh, we're going to use it to create the mapping we're going to give the mapping name as m underscore gen underscore department departments underscore flat file click ok and uh, we drag the departments here we also generated a source qualifier now we are going to generate the <coughs> the target file that we created the flat file this is a very simple mapping and uh, we are going to select all the four uh, fields and uh, drag them onto the target definition table completed now Now we're going to go to the repository and save our mapping. So you can see like the mapping is it says the flat file is valid. Now as the mapping is completed, now we would go to the workflow manager, which is the orange button. <coughs> 